Dinner friends, welcome back. It's me, Miss Amanda, and I've missed you guys so, so much. I hope you guys have had an amazing week, and I'm so glad that you guys are here with me right now. All right, friends, so we're in the month of August, and this month we're going to be learning about how God not only made us, but how he loves us so, so much. So to get started, I'm going to ask you guys a very special question. Who made you? God made you, that's right. Okay, on the count of three, I'm gonna ask you and I want you to yell it as loud as you can. Are you ready, friends? Let me get a drum roll. One, two, three. Who made you? That's right, friends, God made you. Woohoo! yay, yay. And that's an amazing thing. Okay, friends, we're going to play a game and it's a very fun game, I'm super excited. And this game requires four things. Can you guys say how many? Four things, that's right. I have four pictures, and each picture is a different kind of animal. So what's going to happen is, I'm going to give you some clues, hints, to help you guess what kind of animal I'm talking about. So for example, if I say it has four legs, and it's hairy, and it drinks milk, and it goes meow, meow. <gasps> what animal am I talking about, friends? Um, that's right, a cat. All right, if you think you got it, give me a two thumbs ready. One, two, three. Perfect, friends. Here we go. Here's the first hint. Are you guys ready? And a drum roll. All right, it has four legs. It's brown. And it goes roar. What kind of animal am I referring to, friends? That's right. It's a bear, woohoo, woohoo, way to go friends. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, here we go. Hmm, let me try to trick you. Just kidding. <laughs> All right friends, it has four legs. It's very, very hairy. They come in many sizes and shapes and they make a noise that sounds a little something like this. Are you guys ready? Ruff, ruff, ruff. <gasps> What kind of animal am I talking about? Can you guys guess? That's right, friends. It's a dog. Way to go. Woohoo! Look at the beautiful dog. All right, here's the next one, guys. Ooh. It has four legs. It has two ears. And it's fluffy. And it, they love to eat carrots. Can you guess what it is? Can I get a drum roll? That's right, friends. It's a bunny rabbit. Oh, friends, this is a tricky one, but I think you guys are going to get it. All right. It's very tall. It walks proud. They have two ears, and it rhymes with the word mama. Can you guys guess what animal I'm talking about? That's right, it's a llama. Llama, mama. Do you know what all four of those animals have in common, friends? That's right, God made all of these animals. But there's something else. What do you notice? Is it the size? No. Is it the color? No. Are they their eyes? No. Is it their feet or their hands? No. I think I hear it. Let me hear it. That's right, they all have hair. Oh my goodness, look at the hair that each of these animals have. Yes, I don't know about you friends, but that's a lot of hair. Can you guys guess and count how many hairs that each of these animals have? The bear, hmm, nope, I can't. What about the dog? No, I can't. What about the bunny? No. What about the llama? No, but guess who can count? all of the hairs, not just on animals, but in our hair, and our mom, and our dad's hair, and our brother and sister's hair, and everybody in the entire world. Do you know who can do that? That's right, 
God can. And not only does God love us so, so much, but he cares about every single detail. And one of the details he cares about of us is the amount of hair that we have. He, I want you friends, just take your hair, just touch it. God knows every single hair. He knows when you cut your hair short. He knows when your hair is long. He knows when you have little gray hair like Miss Amanda. He knows when you have colorful hair. He knows how short it is and beautiful. God knows everything about you and me and everyone in the entire world. And that is an amazing thing. We are God's, it's a very fancy word, are you guys ready? Masterpiece. That means God took the time to make and create each and every single one of us differently. He thought about the hair, how much hair he wanted us to have. He thought about the color of our eyes. He thought about our nose. He thought about our lips, the size of our hands, if we we're going to be small or tall. God thought about all of those details. And that's what makes you and me and everyone in the entire world unique. And I'm super excited about today's Bible story, friends. Are you guys ready? Can I get a drum roll? Yay! Okay, friends, so you have three choices. Are you ready? You can sit crisscross applesauce hands in your lap. You can lay flat on your tummy. Or you can pick anywhere in your house to watch today's Bible story. Ready? On the count of three, get ready. One, two, three, go! Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the cupcake food truck. Want to see today's special? Ta da! They're my wild watermelons. They kind of look like they have hair, don't they? <laughs> that reminds me, you came for a story. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story! Today's true story from the Bible, whoa! What is that? It's very hairy. <gasps> Can you tell what it is? I think it's an animal? Let's zoom out. 
it's a bunny! Whoa, so much hair. Okay, that was fun. Let's do it again! <laughs> hmm, what kind of animal could this be? Maybe a grizzly bear? Or a horse? Let's see. It's a llama! That's awesome! Now, check out this creature. Hmm. This one might be the hairiest of them all. What do you think, wild buffalo? Let's see. It's a kid! Wow! Look at all that hair! Did you know the Bible teaches that God knows how many hairs are on your head? It's true, every single one. Can you even imagine counting this person's hair? And yet God knows exactly how many hairs are on his head. He even knows if one hair falls out <laughs> onto his shirt. He knows. And do you know what that means for you? It means you are important to God. It's true. You are so important to God, no matter where you go. You're important to God when you're at the dentist. You're important to God when you're in timeout. You're important to God even when you're asleep. You're important to God when you're in the front of the line or anywhere in the line. You're important to God when you're sad or happy or mad or even silly. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? We are important to God. He made each and every one of us. Did you like that story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey Ollie, tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Wow, friends, that was an amazing Bible story. But I don't know about you, but I'm super excited that we serve a God that is amazing and powerful. And not only just that, but that he made all of us unique and different. And that not just that, are you guys ready? That he loves us so, so much that he cares about every single detail. He cares about how we're feeling. He cares about what we're thinking. But most importantly, he thought about how he wanted to make us and that we're all special and created wonderfully in his image. Who made us? God made us. That's right. God made us all what? different and special and unique and amazing friends so we're going to say today's memory verse and it comes from psalms 139 14 and it goes just like this friends are you ready one two three i am fearfully and wonderfully made psalms 139 14 okay friends let's say it again but this time i want you guys to whisper are you ready one two Three, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. <gasps> Psalms 139, 14. All right, one more time. This time as loud as you can. Can I get a ready to rumble? Woo! I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Woo Psalms 139, 14. Wow, friends, you guys did such an amazing job saying our memory verse. So let's go ahead and close it in prayer. I need all friends' hands in the air and clap, hold them for a prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for take, thinking about how you made each and every single one of us from the amount of hair that we have, from our eyes to our nose to our mouth to the size of our hands, Lord. We know that we were created precious in your image. We are your masterpiece and we thank you and we love you. And it's in your name we pray, amen. Yay, friends. Okay, I wanna leave you with a very special question. Who made you? That's right, God made you. So my challenge for you, friends, is I want you to ask your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, this important question. Are you guys ready? Let me see your ears. Turn them on. I want you to ask them, who made you? Go just like this, who made you? And their response, what should it be, friends? 
God made me. One more time, friends. Who made you? God made me. That's right, friends. You did such an amazing job. I cannot wait to hear all the awesome stories that you guys shared with your mom and your dad, grandma, grandpa. You guys are amazing. Just know that Miss Amanda is loving on you, and I'm thinking of you, and I'm praying for you, and I hope that you, friends, have an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you soon. Bye, my kinder friends.